Ah, what's up guys? We are on our way to town because we gotta grab a couple things for dinner. And exchange a few things. And exchange a few things, like Jen just said. Like a scale that said I lost 34 pounds in one night from breastfeeding. We have a stupid scale that we bought that we need to return because, like Jen said, it said that she lost 34 pounds in one night. No. Not, not that is not possible. Unless you're cutting off skin and flesh. I don't think so. <laughs> what? Ah. That's two days. But today it is supposed to storm. Supposedly thunderstorm. I haven't heard anything. Had a little bit of rain, but not much. We'll figure it out. Well... Not us. The weather will figure it out for us, I guess. <laughs> hey, I don't know why I just started talking and all of a sudden that just shot out of my mouth and I couldn't get it back. And now it's on camera. <sighs> but our kid hates the car seat. Any of your guys' kids hate the car seat? Every time we put her in it, all she does is wail. And has a clean diaper gave her a bottle gave her a pacifier still i just think it's the fact of being harnessed in something so we're going to try to get those uh pads for the uh, car seat straps because ever since we did that to her uh swing she doesn't fuss at all I'm going to guess that the straps are itchy or they just irritate being on. So we'll try that. Wow, it is really, really, really kind of muggy. I have long sleeves on. I feel like I'm dying here, man. I don't know why you put long sleeves on. Because it was kind of chilly in the house, honestly. Because we have the AC on. But it's like... Holy Toledo. Maybe I will lose 34 pounds like right now. Thanks, Gail. And then we have our little fuss butt who doesn't like the car seat like Dad said. Did you like the car seat, honey? She's so goofy. <laughs> she just stares at you guys like, hi, I, I'm here. I don't know what I'm supposed to say because I can't really say anything right now. But like Sean said, we are headed to Greenville. First pit stop is going to be movie time to show her off to his old boss because we have yet to make it to see her. And then off to Meyer we go. And I'm going to try my hand at making homemade Ren... Ren? <laughs> Red? Let's try this again. I'm going to try my hand at homemade red wine vinaigrette. There we go. That came out of my mouth correctly. <laughs> I do not know why. <laughs> yeah, brain. Everybody has that though. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> a lot. But I know that I'm also gonna try like doing homemade zesty Italian dressing, and a thinking I'm gonna try like two or three different vinegars in it. Well, not in just one, but I'm going to try, the, obviously, the red wine vinegar. I'm going to try apple cider vinegar and maybe a balsamic vinegar. We have balsamic in the house. I don't know how old that is. I would rather pick up fresh. So, obviously, when I go to do that, I will show you guys how that all turns out and whether I like it or not. 
I'm going to guess that I'm going to like it because of the fact that it's not going to have all the additives and all the different sugars and stuff because I get to control what goes into my dressing. Heck of a lot healthier. Holy crap, guys. We just lost a whole bunch of time. We went on the mire and I ran into one of my buddies that's into film and music and stuff and he's going to school over in Chicago and him and me just sat there talking for quite a bit of time just reminiscing and getting caught up and sometime down the road him and me want to get together and do either a short or something we're not sure exactly obviously him and me will run through details and stuff later on but that was amazing to see him Ben Slater, I know that you watch our vlogs. It was freaking awesome to see you. Oh, but yeah, we ran into Meyer. And <laughs> what started just to pick out some buns ended up with a cart full of stuff. That's what happens when you go into a store hungry. Oh, and somebody is fussy. She's hungry. She's been fighting it the whole time. So I'm going to get off this for a second and feed her. See you guys in a few minutes. Wow. Yes, I know. Warped into the yard again. But we are just taking care of stuff. Going to take and get... Well, I mean, dinner's already been started. We're having... Pulled beef barbecue sandwiches. French fries and salad. French fries and salad also along with it. And I know so you guys are a little dirty. Hold on a minute. I don't know if you guys could see it, but there was stuff all over the lens. Like normal with us. We try to keep it all clean, but things happen, right? Oh. Not that much stuff, but I did say we ended up with a whole bunch of stuff. Compared to if you were just going in for the buns that we were going in for. We ended up with like 10 bags of stuff. It happens. Happens to all of us. I guess the lesson here is don't go into the store when you're hungry. <laughs> what the hell was that all about? <laughs> I saw you just chilling out here talking and I decided to spice it up a bit, so I screeched. I don't know how she can do that. I'm like, man, that would hurt my you know, vocal cords. Truthfully, all I do is like suck in the air. And I know. So, like it cut off like, like I don't go, ah, like that because that, that hurts my throat after a while. But when I go, ah, it doesn't do anything. I, like I said, I still don't know how she can do that without it, but it's pretty neat. I do have to give her that because it sounds like she's a freaking pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> and she freaks the dogs out every time she does it. I can hold it for really long too. She'll do that and all of a sudden they just come running and like, you know, kind of saying, hey, hey my ears you're like blowing them out who cares <laughs> all right i'm gonna help her take care of this stuff and i'm not too sure what we have planned tonight Woman! An adult oh yeah i forgot that we were going to watch that was it grand, grand budapest. budapest motel hotel hotel and it's not even an adult coloring book like naughty adult coloring book it's a cat coloring book but I call it an adult coloring book because I don't know what it's really called. It's like creative coloring or something. I think it says on the package or on the book. So we will, if you guys haven't seen it, we'll let you guys know what we think about that Grand Budapest Hotel. I think I'm saying that correctly. But it looks like it's going to be a pretty funny movie. Got a lot of awards, so. And I know that they have a second one out now. I know we're a little bit late to the party watching that movie, but... Oh, we did watch uh, St. Vincent last night with Bill Murray. 
that was a really good, cute, tearjerker movie. Funny too, it did have its funny moments also. And then we also watched that um, Magic in the Moonlight. That was a very cute romantic comedy too. That that was I am going to help you. But that is a good movie. I do suggest those two movies on your list of movies to watch. St. Vincent? Yes. Amazing. Are, yeah. Very good one. All right. Help her here now that I ran this clip a little bit long. and Back up. Back did, up. <laughs> and decided to go, hey, uh, you just took care of everything except for what's on my lap. I guess it happens, doesn't it? And I just lost the milk and everything else. I probably should cut this clip yeah, off on. now. So I just have a question for everybody. What does a gallon of milk look like? Like the top of it? Not ours. Really, this happened. What the crap? I guess it loved the ground a little too much. But seriously. Apparently you guys have been on this whole time. And that's been like almost an hour since we've been home. I totally forgot to turn the camera off. Sorry. Anyways, dinner. Oh yeah, boy. It smells so good. <laughs> you guys got a little bit of froggy. Hold on. French fries. I think dinner's done. It looks so good, guys. So good. There is some major cuteness going on in the living room right now. Hang on. Just chilling with my daughter. <laughs> but what she doesn't know is that we have to put her back in her rocker so we can eat dinner because it's almost dinner time. Hi there. This is one of my daughters. Who's going to roll right off the couch. <laughs> like she's going to watch her. She literally rolled off inside the blanket last night. Arlen said it was Lady because Lady just had surgery. And I was like, Lady! She popped up out from underneath another blanket. Lady said, oh, me? And she was still on the couch. It was actually Gingy who fell off the couch onto the floor. It was, out. Yeah, she was completely, like, delirious. <laughs> and I'm talking about you, huh? You want to tell your side? Oh, y'all just got licked. So then I wipe it on my skin, thinking my skin's going to dry it. And then I wiped it on my shirt. Anyways, she was stuck and could not get out. But I'm going to finish getting dinner around. And I'm actually going to put Miss Aurora Iris in her rocker so Sean can get his stuff around for dinner. I don't think that she wants to go. She wants me right now. Wants dad time. Tummy time with dad. Only the best. This food looks amazing, Jim. Thank you. Did you want ginger beer? Mm, not really. I'll take water tonight. Okay. Which and water? that's actually a soda. If you guys don't know ginger beer, it's actually really, really good. But I really don't need the sugar right now. All I want is my dinner and some water. Oh, that food was so good. Except for, I ended up wearing my ketchup. Mm, that's what Never thing. fails. Every time I end up wearing something, usually, that's typically my ketchup. I also wore my salad dressing because decided to fall off my fork. I guess crap happens, right? <laughs> but we're going to watch some YouTube, and then we're going to watch that movie that we all talked about a little while ago. <sighs> so, we'll let you guys know how that movie is. I have to um, edit it a little bit. Hey, you want smell a piece of gum? First time she went. This time she's blocking her mouth with her hand. 
What a little turd. I think that might be a sign that she's getting a little hungry. Good thing I have her Baba right next to me. Her and I, we're going to end this thing, aren't we? <laughs> I guess that's her way of saying ciao. But we've got a long day ahead of us tomorrow, so we probably need to get in the bed a little early tonight. Unlike last night when it was like almost 3 in the morning. So, we hope you guys have a great evening. Because we are. Bye! I mean, I would absolutely hate to be strapped into something. I'm claustrophobic anyway, so anytime I have to get like an MRI or anything, freak out on the inside the whole time. We uh, did decide what you guys seen the box to get her that uh, swing because she pretty much has only been in either the car seat or the, her sleeper or on us. So we thought that would be fun for her. We wanted to get a jumper, but they bounce her. I bounce her jumper. I know that they're two different things, but... <laughs>